Il t'a cherché un lot. Son lot, il devrait prendre. Donc là, tu es tombé, tu as un problème de tête. Je me suis dit, je me suis dit, je me suis dit, je me suis dit, je me suis je me suis dit, 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 je me parce que c'est bien tombé Il m'a Elle a décidé de faire un petit chien. Il m'a petit chien. Et même si elle dit que le monde a oublié de vivre Parce que c'est ça qui m'a dit histoire. La vérité est là. Kif, kif, t'es ça. Wapai, wapai. Mais, la vérité assez, qui m'a campé à profit de Je suis pas capré, ou pas moun. Je suis pas moun, si je dis. Je suis pas moun, si je pas moun, si je dis. Je suis pas moun, si Tout le monde répète ça, je dis. Je pas moun. Si je diable, je dis que je suis Parce que les gens sont mauvais, c'est grand Ils sont ils sont ça Ils sont Mais même, je criminel. C'est parce que le premier pitié à moi de te Mais même, non, je fais mon père, mais pas ça, non, je dis non. Mais même si je veux faire méchanceté, je ne vais pas bataille pour te dire que je ne vais pas la papa, même si je veux te C'est pour ça que je ne vais pas bataille. C'est pour ça que je ne vais pas camper, je ne vais pas camper pour venir dans mon monde. Même si tu as des c'est comme si tu Minel passé, minel monté, minel vivé. Peace and blessings, Voodoo family. This is your girl, Mambo Hathor Akhenaten, also known as the Voodoo Diva. And today I come to you with a most important loi, none other than honor and respect for Baron Criminel. We're going to get into the origins. Now, when we start to talk about that Baron Criminel energy, we need to know that this is an energy of retribution, okay? A voice for the voiceless of those that have been criminalized, okay? Those that need to seek out justice but can have none because of this marginalized system that we are in. So again, a voice for the voiceless, one that de deals with being an avenger of justice, okay? We can go even as far back to look at ancient Kemet. Y'all know I love me some ancient Kemet, where we look at that Seth energy, that Sethiroth energy, which again, that chaos realm energy, okay? Baon Kribinel sets out apart from all the rest of the Baon, whereas in most know Baon Samdi, and we have others like Baon Lacroix, Baon Cimetière. However, Baon Kribinel stands on his own, okay, as a very powerful source. Okay, now, what I will say is that in terms of this energy, it has been misused many a times because, again, when you're using that kind of energy against your own, you're not going to get very far. But when that energy is used in proper alignment, then we start having some things that make sense. All right, so Bon Criminel, the man of the hour. All right, so let's go into the characteristics. Now, when we talk about the characteristics, he will always come his colors obviously there will be that purple and that black going but he also affiliates with the red so he's red purple and black 
okay? This Bawa, Bawa Criminel, is considered one of the most powerful amongst the Barons because once again, his energy, when he comes, it better be about business. It is strong and quick judgment, okay, that is dealt with. All right, when it comes to him, the avenging of justice. All right. Now, uh, many a times what people need to understand, he will always stand out because he will be the one that comes with a machete. OK, or a sword, if you will. And he will come with uh, a red particular cloth tied around that particular machete. All right. Representing who he be. Now, um, obviously, you know, Metcalfu is an escort to him. They roll together. So Metcalfu again opens those kinds of doors when we're talking about, you know, getting into the uh, wreaking havoc on those that must be wreaked upon. All right. And many times you'll see him with cigarettes. He enjoys red wine. He'll deal with the, um, the babaco rum. He is also one that offerings of goat. A specific color that is offered to him as well now he will usually also be noted with a bottle around his neck the bottle around the neck representing a nickname that they give him captain zombie the captain zombie energy yes so the whole phenomenon of zombies and um, you know avenging and all that kind of things um, that is coming from him Facts, without a doubt. He will carry that spirit bottle, which is the energy and representation of the zombie faction, okay? Now, when he comes in again, he'll joke and he'll dance and stuff, but that happens after. And it'll be for a very brief moment in time. He is one that they call the ace, okay? When we talk about them card decks, he is the ace, baby. Because um, Baum Samdi will be usually known with the joker card, but he comes as the ace. He is a very serious Loi. And when he comes, he comes with very deep and powerful message, very thought provoking messages, okay, about life and how one needs to go and try with that fearlessness. Anyway, um, one could really also say that he is a patron when it comes to Haiti, because obviously when it comes to the energy of justice in such a broken system, he is the one that many of them will call upon to get that justice. Okay, so he is a loi that, you know, to deal with him is no joke and, you know, he will lock your world up completely if it's not something serious at hand. So, this bound criminal energy can be seen throughout everything from comic books to anime to the movies and the principal in Hollywood. You know, we can go into speaking on a couple of them. Let's go with Punisher, for example. You look at the colors, you look at the weapon, and the slogan of the Punisher is popping. He says, who lives? He who lives wins okay very similar type of energy to bone criminal because he got a quote and his quote goes if you are not man enough the cemetery will take you if you are not man enough the cemetery will take you okay meaning you got to keep yours 100 be a real adult and be serious about yours now uh, we could go into spawn same thing he was there to do what he walks around with his skulls and things of that nature, his colors as well. And what is he doing? He is fighting and warding off demons so he can help to protect humanity. Okay, we look at um, Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider is doing what? He's carrying around a machete slash sword with his chains. And what does he have? A flaming fire skull everywhere he goes. Okay, he's not playing. Red, fire, hot. Bon criminel. All right, so... Uh, one can even go into the anime of Bleach. We have Bleach where the uh, character Ichigo, he is the one who, again, protects the people from the um, hollows, the demons, if you will. Right now, pause. The energy of the demons, so we understand and we're very clear, is that demons deal with what we call chaos energy and chaos realm magic okay so you don't get it all twisted like oh my god the demons is coming at me yeah 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 nah the demon energy again we need to understand is again still talking about chaotic energy when chaotic energy is running rampant at times it must be tamed and controlled okay especially coming from where it's coming from interfacing with the human and physical realm or i.e the human realm okay humanity now, we can even go into Naruto, same thing, all right? There was a calling, the fourth Okage called and summoned a demon god, which again, it was a form of trapping a soul, okay? Or putting a soul, again, in what? 
a spirit bottle a zombie the zombie phenomenon remember we talked about that captain zombie bon criminel all right now in the uh, in the comic uh death note which then they did a movie off of you have um the entity ryuk okay which gives a young man that he encounters with a book now the book is sacred because whatever he writes down the book okay in that book starts to come true so what did he do he ended up writing in the corrupt group the corrupt folks around him that he felt he needed to avenge for what their justice to be served all right so you got all of this powerful energy when it comes to bound me now one of my favorite is mr voodoo mr voodoo okay is a comic book that was um written by marvel in the 1960s and mr voodoo his story is amazing his story is very powerful so he was born in haiti okay uh, with the name jericho and what ended up happening there was a tragic situation where his brother died okay and within that he devoted himself in lifespan into going to learn the crafting sacred tradition of voodoo now when he goes there it's all about mastering and dealing with things like herbs mastery of the herbs becoming a full-time ugin and learning as much as he could about again this afterlife realm and all of that energy with the again zombification it got so deep to where he actually brings along with him okay or masters how to put his brother's spirit or have his brother's spirit be with him carry with him if you will to come into the new world or come into the united states if you will he did come into the u.s because he turned to be a medical student where he meets none other than dr strange dr strange was a affiliate of his or a student as well with the medicine this is where that story um comes from now the powerful thing about it is that he also once he gets here has a job to do which is again warding off the negative energy the demons using some of what he's learned he even heals hulk at one time so he was powerful and everybody know that they had to come to him so you have that energy now we also go into not forgetting that if we got that energy yo right check it black panther with all of that technology from wakanda right and you got you some mr dr voodoo okay with that african spirituality voodoo superhero we're gonna really be popping all right let's not forget all of this is ours this is all of our applied science you feel me so everything we do we are coming in with again bringing those energies to reality i would definitely i can't wait because they're gonna have um a doctor strange movie coming up soon and he will make his debut in the film so i'm excited to see where that's gonna go followed by a movie that will be done um by him for him you know completely sp explaining his story so he will definitely be like that first haitian superhero okay and he will also be again that african spirituality voodoo superhero so yes now when we go into the energy of gangs and and kind of like clans and gang leader and stuff like that we gotta rap about that too because even in our physical life it's serious the gang movement is bon criminel okay the blood let's take a look at okay so he looks as to be basically the head of gang leaders when you look at gang leaders that be like the M ms-13 or like you know what i'm saying what is their favorite thing that they like to tattoo on them skulls they ride around their cars have skull stickers on them they tattoo themselves guns weapons swords all of that energy is that bone criminal energy coming through okay they will carry around what knives machetes okay and also pay attention in all the movies they kind of always show you this one thing when a gang leader wants to show how serious he is i ain't playing no kind of games right what will he do he'll kind of kill somebody out there kind of at random okay to prove a point you know lick a couple shots in the air if he's got to bruise somebody to kind of rough him up a little bit to let him know i mean business so i'm not coming here to play i'm coming here to take care of business once again 
that bound could be nailed energy all day. All right. So what I'm saying is that his energy, again, keeps the symbology and also even in gangs that if you're not serious, if you're not really to take ready to take that oath and be, you understand what I'm saying, part of the gang and be serious about what the tasks are, then you ain't going to be a part. And again, most of the time, the tattoos, the skulls, that whole culture of that really, really deals with bound criminella. And then what's most important, you got to remember, gangs formed in the first place because that's the voice for the voiceless. Remember, it's about avenging, fighting back. When many are in a tough situation and spot, they have to what? Assemble, gang up together to fight off what's going on and what they're not happy about in their communities. So here you go, bound criminal all day. So when we deal with bound criminal, you know, it's time to talk about the personal experience. Now, personal experience with bound criminal, he is an energy that teaches you the quintessential of having no fear, okay? He gives you a feeling of ultimate safety and security, and he is an energy that definitely rem like reminds you that you need to be serious and 100 about yours. You know, if you say you're gonna do something, do it. And you know, regulations and things is very important. So it's a responsibility, you know what I mean? The whole energy of no going back. Uh, he definitely has made me feel, you know, that I'm a, definitely a grown ass woman leagues now because, you know, I will sacrifice for what I know is right and I will also sacrifice for what I know is mine. So, you know, um, within essence of that, yes, you know, um, he definitely teaches you those kinds of urgencies. Removes that energy of fear, okay? Um, he is one of my personal working loa at the Société Caipifo, all right, at the Spiritual Root House, where it goes down. Uh, shout out to Caipifo, Mambo Mama Zanfan and all of the other beautiful members um yes indeed you know he definitely brings that energy the sense of urgency you know that point of no return so bound clean yeah he's that dude he a funny dude but he a real serious dude though more serious less funny <laughs> What we know is that Bon Criminel, once again, his energy is really on the rise right now. If he just so happens, which is very rare, to be in your court, please make sure that you have proper guidance in dealing with him. Okay, that rarity, if he is or does indeed uh, walk with you. Also, um, you know, proper guidance toward this whole process, obviously, of voodoo. I always say, you know, being with someone you can feel comfortable to ask questions with and to get clarity on is super duper important on your journey. You know, um, being chosen, inheritance, whatever the case might be, you know, it's important. You owe it to yourself to make sure that you're being led into the proper direction, listening to yourself, listening to the voice of your ancestors, the energy, the Loire spirit, always will put you where you belong when you belong nothing is ever done by mistake there are no coincidences we are living in a very powerful sensitive and very retributive time okay people and things in the dynamic of this planet are being dealt with and we may not hear it all but trust and know that it is happening okay sincerely the loa <laughs> So all in all, definitely, um, the last trip to Kai before, as you guys saw, was very powerful. And definitely enjoy the vibrations of the one and only Baon Criminel. And real quick, his song, so y'all can get a quick jam on how he ride it. Criminel Passe, Criminel Monte, Criminel Vive. Once again, Criminel Passe, Criminel Monte. Now, you're wondering, what in the world does that mean? So, criminal passé means the passage dealing with Metcafu, who gives the opening, okay? Criminal monté, coming from the depths and the realms, okay? From down under, if you will, people want to try to call that hell, whatever, the chaotic realm, coming up. And when he says, criminal rivé, that is an energy saying, I have arrived. I have arrived now into this world, this physical world of these undecided humans. Now I got to figure out what's going to go down because guess what? At the end, he is what we call the judger and the executor. The judgment and the execution all in one. Okay? So I vovo for all of the loa those that are seen and unseen of our ancestors and may 
you continue to try to get your voodoo or die trying. I evil both. Peace out.